Welcome to the Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the show that brings you man on the street interviews, celebrity guests, groundbreaking research, and heartwarming stories about the reasons we smile. Our show is also known as everything you've always wanted to know about dentistry, but we're too numb to ask. Hello, I'm General Dentist Dr. Kavitko, and thank you for joining me today. The following views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of this station, its staff, management, or parent company. To hear a replay of this show or one of the great shows that previously aired, log on to TheReasonsWeSmile.com or iTunes, keyword Dr. Kavitko or The Reasons We Smile. Listeners should not use Dr. Kavitko's comments and advice in place of an actual dental exam. Brighten your life with the smile that shows the professional touch of Dr. Kavitko. Time now for The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Call 459-9769 to discuss your dental issues. Now, here's your host, Dr. Kavitko. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Reasons We Smile. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is show number 500. How about that? My 500th episode. And I couldn't think of a better person to come in the studio and to help me celebrate than John Shubb, the Buckeye guy. So, hey, John. Hey, Thanks Dr. for joining Kavitko. me today. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, before we get started, let me let you know that uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Dr. Kavitko. If you want to go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. John, what would your how would they how would they go to your office Facebook page or your Twitter? How do they follow you? It's Real Buckeye Guy. Uh, hashtag Real Buckeye Guy. It's Is it Buck and then a big I and yep. then okay one word <laughs> one Buck word I Guy Buckeye yeah. Guy okay. <laughs> Well, that sounds cool. Hey, also, uh, I want to mention that on the uh, August 18th, 19th and 19th. I will be at the Fashion Meets Music Festival. I'll have my big rig. Going to be doing some free dentistry on the crew and the uh, road crew and the musicians. Uh, also on the 20th, I'll be at the United Methodist, or rather North Broadway United Methodist Church doing uh, free back to school exams on the uh, children there. So we're looking forward to that. I'll also have the rig there to do that. And... Um, if you want to access any of the episodes we've ever done, all 499 of the ones we've already done, plus today, you go to TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Okay? Think of it as the replay channel. All right. So, yes, as I said, I'm very happy to have a uh, Buckeye guy, John Shubb, in the studio with me. And I always ask my guests to uh, give me an idea what they would like to be asked. And one of the things I noticed, John, is you didn't mention your business. So I thought, did you not want to talk about it, or would you like a chance to tell people what do you do for real? Before we get started, <laughs> I want to talk about the rig that you keep referring to. <laughs> this is unbelievable. When I seen the rig for the first time, you talk about blown away. <laughs> that is a rig. You like it? Yes, sir. <laughs> you can do root canals, yes. caps, crowns, anything that you need to do Exa in the rig. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And nothing's attached to the floor, which is kind of cool, which makes it multi-purpose. I have, it's all portable equipment. It folds up, goes in its own cases. And, um, and so I can use it for dentistry at times. I can use it to broadcast this radio show. Wow. I actually plan on doing that live on uh, the 20th of August. Um, and it can also be my hotel room if I need it to be. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Talk about multi-purpose. Yes, yes, yes. And then you have, I wanted to ask you about your your uh, your 1970... Chevy uh, Impala. Chevy Impala. I used to have, uh, let's see, ours was a 66 Chevy Impala oh. that we had when I was growing up. Very similar, Dr. <laughs> Bitko, I'll tell you. From 65 to 70, the cars are virtually the same, oh, are they? only changing the bumpers. And the taillights were square and mine were round, I That's think. That's it. <laughs> You're on top of it. <laughs> And mine was red. Was yours red before you painted it red? Actually, uh, scarlet no. And gray? It was a beautiful, uh, a green hue, uh, with a, a black top. And and I I seen that car for the first time and says, oh, gotta have that. Gotta have that. Done some <laughs> uh, uh, major reworking of it, and now it's the Buckeye Guy Mobile. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a little bit like the Batmobile. <laughs> ding ding ding. ding, ding, ding <laughs> okay, so you have a printing business, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. What's it called? It's called AJA Industries. AJA. Okay. Yeah. And if somebody wants to reach you somehow, either to have you come to an event or have you hire them, or rather hire you to print for them, yep. what do it's, they do? It's uh, area code 614-216-9566. Okay, and he did not ask for that plug, uh, by the way. I just thought I should give him that plug. Thank you. So I thought that was very awesome. Thank you. Now, how long have you been the Buckeye guy? Since Skippy was a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> if you That's tell me you have to time. kill me, you don't want people to hold you, right? <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> my brother, my older brother, um, went to the University of Ohio State. I'm oh, sorry. Ohio State University. The Ohio sorry. State University. The Ohio State University. All right. And and, and he used to uh, have me to football games. Okay. I was so proud to go. And, uh -huh. and, man, Woody Hayes was coach. And, oh, my God. 
watching watching the uh, the Bucks and and Archie Griffin and and, and Pete Johnson. And, oh man, it was unbelievable. John Hicks, all the old guard, you know, uh-huh. and Woody roaming the sideline. Oh yeah, and I was. <laughs> that's when the stadium had real grass, and you can smell it. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, it was an. <laughs> Intoxicating doctor, I'm okay. telling you. So it got you really, got in your veins. Yes, it okay. did. It did. My father, my father, uh, never, never made it to the stadium. Oh, okay. never wanted to. Oh, you know, he said he'd watch the game, and when he seen me, he'd watch it through my eyes. Okay. It oh yeah, because he could see your excitement. Absolutely. But you didn't start dressing up like Buckeye guy until how many years ago? Oh, it's been quite some. It was uh, the early 2000s. Okay. So about yeah. 16, 17 years, or so, somewhere in that range. Absolutely. Okay. Coach Trussell came in here, man, turned this program around. Oh. We've been beating that team up north for so long. I almost lost a job on a Monday after a, uh, numerous losses to that team up north. <laughs> and my wife said, you better get yourself right to work. <laughs> because it would needle me because they, they knew my love for the university. Right, right. Now, did you go to OSU? Absolutely not. I'll tell you something else. <laughs> You didn't go to Michigan, I hope. No, no, <laughs> no. Nor did Urban Meyer. Right. Nor did Woody Hayes. Or Earl Bruce. Earl Bruce. Right. John Cooper. Right. So I'm in a good uh, class of company. <laughs> oh, they didn't go there either. That's no, right. But, but made major contributions. Exactly. So we're excited about that. Okay. Awesome. So I know you do a lot of charity work. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about that because I don't want to miss out on that. I did not realize you did as much charity work as you did. You have quite a, an ability because uh, people really warm up to you, all of these Buckeye fans. So when you show up at a toy drive, for example, and I understand you do the Firefighters Toy Drive, you do the Shriners Toy Drive, you do the uh, Marine Toy Drive. Absolutely. That's Channel 10, Channel 6, and Channel 4. Channel 10 is the Salvation Army. Uh Channel 6 is the Marine Toy Drive, and Channel 4 is the Firefighters Toy Drive. Okay. We take uh, uh, donations for those uh, all during the summer, and come the winter months, we go out and buy toys from our good friends at Walmart. Okay. And uh, we put them in a, a big warehouse, split them into three, buy 100 bikes. Everybody gets 33 bikes. Uh, oh, each of the stations? Each each one. Oh, and, and, okay. Uh, it had gotten so big uh, to where our, our good friends at Walmart allowed me to use one of their trucks to drop them off because we bought so many Oh, toys. wow. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. That's very cool. It was good. <laughs> we could fill my rig with toys. See? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I just volunteered myself for something, I think. <laughs> and then, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> um, now, they probably gather 99. They wouldn't want to have to split that last bike in three, so probably 99. Somebody. somebody gets it. <laughs> so, oh, that's awesome. And, and I also, you go to hospitals, right? I go to visit hospitals, with the kids. visit. Uh, uh, I, read the, I read the kids in the um, early, early stages of their lives. I visit the elderly. Uh, I'm always in the uh, autism walk. Autism Speaks Walk. Oh, that's it, it's nice. It's a number of different... Uh, um, so I would imagine when you show up, the cash register starts to ring, so to speak, for these charities because it gets people excited. And You know what? Am I right? I try to help. I try to help wherever I can. Uh, the Susan B. Coven Race for the Cure, we've done that on multiple occasions. And there's several things in this city and beyond that uh, we've tried to get a, a, a good positive spin for. Okay. Yeah, it's um, it's very, it's really cool that you do that. And then let's hope when you're elderly, somebody will come and read to you. You know what I always say? That's, that's <laughs> funny you said that. That's funny you said that. Every time I go in, I get done talking, and I always tell the administrators, save a seat for me. Right, right. It's, you know, it's coming. and We're all going there. Well, a little, a little faster than I anticipated. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of us, some of us got a head start, but we're all getting there at the same speed, I think. Nice. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta ask. I'm so curious about mm-hmm. you and and the way. Um, I don't know. We just always see you on TV. So, yep. first of all, when you became the Buckeye guy, you said in the early 2000s. Since that time, have you ever missed a game? Oh no. No. Oh no. They don't, uh, ESPN didn't put you in the Fan Hall of Fame for missing games. Did you bring your trophy? I meant I to. Did not, you, you didn't. I did not okay, tell me about trophy. that. Tell me about that. I didn't realize it's, it's that. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, uh, there, there was a, a, a panel of 500 fans, you know, countrywide, and they narrowed it down to 100, and narrowed it down to 20, and they narrowed it down to three, and uh, I was one of the three. One of the three. Yeah. Best fans in the land. Absolutely. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Did you know that you were up for it, and did you know as it went down to 20 and, Well, you know? once, you, once you got down to, I think it was 100, they, they start coming to you, and, 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 and you made commercials. Oh, okay. You made commercials. Oh, so they, that they can go on the air and vote for me kind of commercials? 
Um, not vote no. for me, but but just showing what you do. Kind of vote for me, and, and, and they let people know who who it was that, right, that were, right, that right. were there in the, in the top ten. Okay, and it was unbelievable. Wow, wow, it so, was. So these other folks are just as passionate about their school as yes, and you know what? I I respect each and every person right. regards to what it is and who it is that they cheer for. Wow. That's really neat. That's really neat. I have so many more questions. I hope we have Please. time to get them in. Oh, let's get them. But we have to do what we usually do at this point in time. And I forgot to tell folks, I always like to remind you, we do a Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. Mm -hmm. And I usually tell them ahead of time so they can type in the phone number. Yes. So at 614-459-9769, I want you to type that into your cell phone now. Get it pre-programmed, everything but the last number, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, you can type it all in and don't push send yet. 614-459-9769. And we're going to do Dr. Kavitko's question of the day soon. And by the way, before we do, we want you to listen to this, but there's a big hint here. Okay, listen. Hey, Dr. Kavitko, it's your former producer, Kelly. I wanted to tell you that I'm so sorry I couldn't be there today, but I wanted to wish you a huge congratulations on 500 shows. How awesome is that? You really are the most interesting dentist I know. This station will not be held liable for any contesting during The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko. Participation in the contest allows Dr. Kavitko to record and broadcast your name and call. One winner per household, prizes are non-transferable, cannot be substituted, and are subject to taxes and fees. This station cannot be responsible for the inability to enter the contest, whether due to equipment malfunction or telephone difficulties. All decisions of Dr. Kavitko concerning this contest or eligibility are final. And now it's time for Dr. Kavitko's Question of the Day. All right, and the winner is going to receive free flowers from DeSantis Florist. They'll be delivered to your place of business this uh, Tuesday afternoon. And we're also going to give out two free passes to the Fashion Meets Music Festival. All right, so the question is, um, John Shubb, the Buckeye guy, is in the studio with me today, mm -hmm. and he's helping me celebrate my what episode? Wow. Is it my A, 100th, B, 200th, C, 300th, or D, 500th episode? Okay, as I mentioned, the winner's going to receive those free flowers, and someone else will receive the uh, two free passes to the Fashion Meets Music Festival. The number to call is 614-459-9769. That's 614-459-9769, so go ahead and call now. You won't believe it, though. I want to hear your mind. And there's nothing else in the world tonight. She said people don't take the time. Hey, people don't take the time. Hi, I'm Keith Carlos, winner of America's Next Top Model and star of Chocolate City 2. Look for my smile on the big screen this summer, courtesy of Dr. Kavitko. Stay tuned to The Reasons We Smile with Dr. Kavitko, the world's most interesting dentist. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of The Reasons We Smile radio and roadshow. Did you know that you no longer need to visit several different dental professionals to get more complete dental care? We handle everything from cleanings and orthodontics to restoration, implants, and smile makeovers, all in my office. And now we have two locations. Get the most advanced technology and procedures available today. It's more complete dentistry. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. Hi, this is Richard Simmons. Dr. Kavitko's here, and he's going to help you with all of your problems. Uh, are your teeth yellow? He can fix that. Are you missing a tooth? He can put a new one in. How is that? <laughs> That's very good. Thank you, Richard. Okay, we're back. We're doing Dr. Kavitko's question of the day. We have four callers on the line, and I would like Buckeye Guy to pick a number between one and four. Let's go with two. Number two. That would be actually, that, let, me, let me tell my producer what two is. That would be Scoop. Hey, Scoop, how are you? Oh, hey, it's Buckeye Guy. It's Scoop, yeah, it's great. It's, uh, you're a great guy. I got a picture with you. I got a picture with Dr. Kavitko. Nice. All the celebrities. I just love the celebrities in town. You guys do a lot of work for uh for the community. I love that about you guys. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you so much for listening and for calling in. And uh, so, hey, Scoop, do you have the answer to Dr. Kavitko's question of the day? It's, it's D. 
see, it's 500 great episodes. Hey, they're, all, they're all different, buddy. <laughs> they are different, aren't they? Hey. Would you say that's why you listen, because they're different? That's what I hear. Well, it's exciting, and you, and you can just pour any type of subject, but you relate it back to teeth, and it's all about personal health, and you smile, and, and taking care of yourself. If you've... Uh, I find it really interesting. I just enjoy your program each week. It's well, I appreciate different. that. Thank you so much. So, hey, stay on the line. Oh, we got to figure out. Is, uh, okay. So, would you like the free flowers or the tickets? I'll take the flowers. The I got flowers. a girl having surgery this weekend. So. Okay. Got it. Stay on the line. And then let's call up, uh, let's see, we go to number two, Erica. Hey, Erica. How are you? Yes. Good. Hey, Erica, did you have the right answer also? D. There you, there you do. Yeah, you did. Okay, 500 episode. So if you'll stay on the line, we're going to get information. We're going to send you free tickets to the Fashion Meets Music Festival, okay? Sweet. Okay. Sound good? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, stay on the line. All right, so yeah, we're in the studio. If you're just joining us, I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is the 500th episode yeah. of TheReasonsWeSmile.com, and that is John Shubb, the Buckeye guy. So, All right. Uh, John, I want to find out... Um, how do you? How much do you pay for tickets, or do you manage to somehow get in free? No, <laughs> you got to pay for no. tickets. A absolutely. But absolutely. even when you, but they're not available sometimes. So how they does that are, work? Uh, it's always uh, a third party. Um, Somebody's helping you. You got to pay, no. but they're finding them for no, you. No, no, it's it's a uh, StubHub. Oh, a StubHub. You go to StubHub, and StubHub. A lot of people sell their tickets on StubHub. No, okay. For front row tickets, and that's what I uh, procure. You always get front row tickets. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, I yeah. thought. I thought you managed to get in the door, and then the fans would let you no, come up front with them. No, no. Oh, uh, uh, what, whatever your seat number is, you have to have your fanny on that seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm even more impressed that you go to all these games, because yeah. that's an expensive proposition. It is. And you know what, though? It's, it's my hobby. Okay. It's, it's a lot less cheaper than... Uh, um, it's less cheaper than... B being a member of a, a prestigious golf course. I guess, that's club. true. Yeah, that's how you, you know. sell it to your wife, apparently. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what happens is, folks, it's my passion. Uh -huh. You know, uh, Archie Griffin talks about the three Ds, dedication, desire, and determination. And those are things that uh, we apply here. Okay. And it's our life, and it's our hometown team. And I think everybody should be rooting. Say those again. It's dedication, desire, and determination. That might apply to my 500th episode, too. Absolutely. Huh? And, and, and you know what? Anything. Congratulations, <laughs> Bill. 500 episodes. It's unbelievable. I'll have to tell you that when we first started doing the show, I didn't know this, but my, um, my, uh, my wife and my mother-in-law were talking amongst themselves, mm -hmm. and they said, oh, what's he going to talk about? And then my, I think they decided it, it, they'll give it three months. They figured it would be over in three months, <laughs> which would have been 12 shows. Right. <laughs> But you, so, you, you you superseded that like you wouldn't believe. It. I'm you, it's unbelievable. Yeah, now they realize I can probably do it forever. So. Yes, you can. <laughs> and you got a big rig out back. <laughs> yeah, I've brought it here before. I love it. It rig. doesn't fit in the parking lot very I well. I love the rig. <laughs> so now, when you're at an away game, yes. do you get heckled by the opposing fans? Well, you know what? Either I get too much or too little. Um, the good news is that, that um, I'm very recognizable um, countrywide from all of the... Uh, the television exposure and this, that, and the other. Right. And a guy will either, either give me a pass because of my passion right. for my own team. Meaning not heckle you because they know. Well, no, I'll get heckled. But, I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but they'll understand why I'm there. Uh -huh. um, and people at, at home games, which 99% of the people go to, um, the, you know, they give, give it a little hard. But Do you go to every away game, too? Oh, every, every game. home, away, bowl. But the most important football event of the year is the spring game because the spring game most of the people there have never been in before it's and they don't get five, to go during the season right, right. that's right and it's it's only five dollars to get in i suggest everybody come out um, we've got records we hold records the ohio state university holds records for um spring game attendance and um it's unbelievable it's it's a great time you get out got to get out and uh, see the spring game get, get to see the you know, S see the new the new pups. Yes. The new Buckeyes. Yes. I get excited <laughs> about that. Pretty sure they don't want to be called pups because they're actually big men already, sure even though they're, they're only 19, sure 20, 21, 22, but still. Okay. So, uh, sounds like my producer got all the information he's mm -hmm. going to need, so that's cool. Um, and I think it looks like it's about time for us to go to a break, wouldn't you say? So, you're listening to The Reasons We Smile, episode number 500. I'm here with John Shubb, the Buckeye guy, and yes. we'll be right back. You can't take me as I am Not just a little bit I don't know who to be I'm a paper cup, baby, of the sea I know you see it too, cause 
This is Clark Kellogg. Stay tuned for more of Dr. Kavitko. Estás escuchando con Dr. Kavitko aquí en su sesión favorita. Hi, I'm Dominique Weigert. Like what you hear? Why not use the show to promote your product or service by becoming a sponsor? Call 614-262-9588 to learn how. That's 614-262-9588. Call now. Hi, I'm Dr. Kavitko, general dentist and host of the Reasons We Smile Radio and Roadshow. I've been honored to help several famous people get a perfect smile, like Keith Carlos and Dominique Rygaard from America's Next Top Model and Ted the Golden Voice Williams from right here in Columbus. Isn't it time you had a celebrity smile? It costs less than you might think, and most of the time, it can be done in one visit. A new smile can make a world of difference. Visit worldsmostinterestingdentist.com for more info about Dr. Kavitko. I'm Grandpa, and I go to Dr. Kavitko, and I still have all my teeth. Real ones. Where's my glasses? We're back. I'm Dr. Kavitko. This is The Reasons We Smile, episode number 500. We have the Buckeye Guy, also known as John Shubb, and he is here to make us smile. Now, I do I do want to ask a question. As you heard, Scoop knows we always talk a little bit about teeth, right? Yes. A little bit about dentistry, because what I like to do is think that I'm helping people learn more about and being more aware of their dental health. Mm-hmm. And you're pretty successful, and you've been on national TV. You've been yep. on TV around the world. Yep. You smile a lot. Absolutely. You couldn't, if you had Billy Bob teeth, if you had rotten teeth, you wouldn't be smiling so much, nope, would you? Nope, nope, nope. So you consider a smile very important, don't you, to a person's success? Very much so. And yeah. also, Dr. Kavitko, I'll need a appointment out in the big rig. Okay. You can take a look at these choppers and see if there's anything that you can improve <laughs> on. I'm, okay. Be happy to do that. Be happy to do that. So how long does it take you to get all dressed up in this? Here's my <laughs> stock and trade answer. Depending how long I was over at the varsity club the night before I... <laughs> 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 no, it's probably between 15 and 20 minutes. To, um, 15, 20 minutes? Yep, 15, Wow, 20 that's minutes. pretty cool. And, and I always make sure I have everything laid out from the gloves to the socks, the hat, glasses, uh, everything. Now how did you come up? How did you decide that was going to be your uniform, so to speak, your garb? You've got a white flag you use as a cape. Yes. Right? Yes. And the cowboy hat. I mean, it's Absolutely. just really cool. Everything just kind of comes together. And Absolutely. It's, very photogenic, you know? We're excited about that. It, it came up a piece at a time. Okay, did your wife help? Well, you know what? She she, she has final say on everything. <laughs> <laughs> As does my wife. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I will tell you, though, it all starts and, and ends with the hat. The hat is the uh, star of the show, uh-huh. and, that, and that's uh, recognizable. And, um, right. Um, you can could, you could pick it out in the crowd, and we're excited about having that. The first one I got was from a thrift shop. Okay. And it sat on the TV for a year or so. Really? And I went and bought a whole $3 can of spray paint, satin white. I sprayed that thing. You're talking about the hat? The hat? The hat. Oh, you spray, spray painted it. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And, and the, Well, now they're all custom made, you know, I mean, sure, but, but the initial, the initial one, which I still have. Okay. And I'm doing a, I'm doing an interview in Indiana, strangely enough, away you're, game. You're going to the first second away game? Okay. okay. And who's having you on their show? Well, it, it's Clay Hall in Channel 6. Oh, okay. This is years ago. This oh, is got years it, ago. got it. And uh, I come on, and I, I got no insignia on the hat, but I got a cowboy hat on. I got a picture of that actual gay. Uh-huh. And his producer comes in his ear and says, tell Buckeye Guy, never take that cowboy hat off. And I... <laughs> And I have not. <laughs> is, he, is he implying you have a face for radio, or what's oh, he saying? Oh, no, no. <laughs> the hat works for me. Works for you. Got it. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Now, um, uh, okay. So, what, name some famous people that you've met through the Buckeye guy, being a Buckeye oh, guy. Oh, uh, Archie Manning. Archie Manning is, is, is wow. Peyton Benning's dad, dad. Dad of Peyton you and know? Eli, So, yeah. we were in New Orleans. Right. Uh, um, playing the vaunted uh, Crimson Tide Alabama. Right. And we go to Manning's. I mean, they got a restaurant there. Oh. And I'm like, and he's actually there. What? I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> There's Archie Manning. Right there. <laughs> you recognized him? You went over to him and said Absolutely. hi? Absolutely. And... Hey, how you doing, Ohio State guy? What's going on? And everything was fine. That was that. That's huge. Yeah, that is. Wow. That's huge. It's just plain out huge. Now, 
in your cell phone, who's the most famous person in your contacts? Oh! Uh, Besides I mean, me, of course, because well, I, I know I'm in Vitko, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm just that, kidding. That, hey, that's 500 episodes, baby. You, <laughs> no, you don't kidding. get that. You don't get that uh, just by anything. <laughs> I mean, sure, there, there's, there's people, you know. Screen Actors Guild that are in there. You really? Know, I'm, I'm gonna keep that private. Okay. But, you know, some some. We're not asking here. you to give out their phone numbers. Oh just no. <laughs> <laughs> I well, got, I got. How about this? Who's your favorite player? Oh, Archie your player. Griffin. Archie, Archie Griffin, Griffin, still to this day. Absolutely. Okay. He's a hometown and I producer too. He's a hometown guy and got dog it. You know, two time Heisman Trophy winner. Uh -huh. No hesitation. Uh, he came to my high school and spoke after winning two Heisman trophies, and he talked about dedication, desire, and determination. And he was speaking directly to me. Really? I've never mentioned it to him. Uh, oh. I've seen him on thousands of occasions. I've never, ever told him that. But I'm telling him that now. Archie, you helped me uh, uh, end up being the Buckeye guy. Plain out and out, man. Because you came in after, you know, winning two Heisman trophies. Playing for the Cincinnati Bengals. And came to our school and still spoke to us. Right. That's why I go out and speak as many times as I do uh, today. Right, right. Because, yeah, he's showing he's never too big a to... Absolutely. To Right. And I think that's important. Yep. I think that's important. I know people will say at my dental office, they'll ask me, uh, now, if I come to if I come to your office, will I get you? And I go, yeah, if you want me. No, I didn't think I'd be able to get you. I thought I'd get one of the associates. It's like, right. no, anybody that wants me gets me. I don't think I'm that important. Well, that's Buckeye guy. I'm asking for you, Dr. <laughs> okay. I need you to give me the once over. <laughs> we can work on that. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll be happy to do that. Now, um, okay, so... Uh, I, one more thing on the heckling, because I went to a Michigan State game. It's my only time that I went to an away game. Sure. I purposely dressed in all black. Not that I thought we were going to lose, but, mm -hmm. you know, warm clothes are dark, it seems, sure. you know, winter coat Absolutely. and stuff. And I was still getting heckled, and I sure. didn't understand it. Then I realized my earmuffs had an OSU emblem ding, on ding, them. Ding, <laughs> ding, 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 So, um, when you're losing, when we happen to be losing, which I know it's not very often. Rare. Is it different, uh, the heckling, or do they just leave you alone, or, or what? Because we were winning, and I was getting heckled. We've got such a winning tradition and spirit at yeah. the Ohio State University. Mm -hmm. Most folks know not to poke the bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. That's probably a good way of putting it, and I think we're going to leave it at that. All right, because we have just a couple minutes, so uh, I uh, tell you what, tell me how people can reach you uh, if they want to have you Abs come to an event. Absolutely. How will they reach you? Let's say they want you to show up at their charitable event. Yep, Buckeye Guy, 614-216-9566. Call me anytime. Um, everything's uh, excited about that. Real Buckeye guy on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, okay, Instagram. Okay, it's the real Buckeye guy. Because apparently, there's a couple of so guys that that aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's see. Uh, okay. I just want to remind folks again. I will be at the Fashion Meets Music Festival August 18th and 19th. Come up and say hello. We'll be doing free dentistry, not on the entire crowd. We can't right. do that, but right. we'll be doing it on the, the road crews, the musicians, the artists, if they're interested. Uh, August 20th, I'll be at the United Methodist uh, Lutheran... I'm sorry, I said that wrong. The <laughs> I can't believe I said that. North Broadway United That's Methodist right. Church. Sure. Uh, doing back-to-school exams uh, on the children that need it. And uh, it looks like we have one minute. Okay, so, yep, I'm getting that sign. Okay. So let me just go ahead and finish up the show. Thank you so much for being on the show, John. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. And and uh, when people come, we want to get pictures afterwards. Yep. Yep. Okay, so don't leave, please. No. <laughs> what a great pleasure it's been to spend the 500th show yes. with Dr. Kavitka. Maybe we'll have you back for the 600th. You know what? I'll be there. Put me down for that. <laughs> okay, and also I want to congratulate Sunday 95. Last Sunday was their 35th Woo. year anniversary of their 35 years on the air. Pretty cool, sunny. huh? Sunny. Yeah, they're making you know, me look Stacey. bad, but anyway. <laughs> sunny. sunny. <laughs> all right, so that's all the time we have. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Dr. Kavitko. If you'll please go to my office Facebook page and like us, that would be awesome. Remember, all past episodes complete with video are available at TheReasonsWeSmile.com. Be sure to tune in next week and every week right here on your favorite station. Goodbye. <laughs>
9588 or send an email to speaking at the reasons we smile.com. WSN.